Against the spectacular backdrop of the Singapore skyline, Formula One returns once again to do battle in what tends to become something of an endurance race, with the notorious sauna-like temperatures in the cockpit making for an extremely physically challenging Grand Prix. We're here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit today, located in the heart of Singapore. The circuit consists of 23 corners, 13 to the left and 10 to the right. It's a track that's incredibly technical, so don't expect to see the drivers taking too much at full throttle. With the Grand Prix nearly upon us, Anthony Davidson is by my side. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Iceman, Sebastian Vettel, and Gasly, Bottas, Hamilton, Ricardo, and Sergio Perez, Kvyat, Albon, George Russell, and Magnussen, Ocon, Stroll, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Nicolas Latifi, Uber, and Sergio Sete Camera. You have a good chance of getting a points position today. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 uh, Career Mode. We're, I think, what, 17 races in so far? We're at the Singapore Grand Prix. I actually just, I can't get this track. Uh, we did qualify fourth, which wasn't too bad. I think we technically should have qualified around maybe sixth, maybe seventh. Uh, we took the last corner. Uh, we cut it a little bit, but we, there's no warning on that, which is great. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what we can do. The main thing here is just to get points uh, this uh, this time around. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, let's see if we can get a decent launch here. Verstappen's definitely going to be faster than me, so I'll, give him, I'll let him go. if it takes too much damage a new strategy is available on the oh, LFD. Oh, understood like crazy. Keep current. Understood, copy that. I think I should be able to manage this bit of damage a little bit hopefully Vettel's pushing us like crazy. Let's use overtake and burn some of this energy.
Yeah, my cartridge feels so underpowered for some reason. DRS, but the overtake still helps. Engine is looking a little worn. Power output will be less than optimal. Understeer. Jeez. Your front wing is damaged. Expect a lot of understeer unless we replace it. Box now. Understood. Stopping this lap. Exactly the damage I needed. Jeez. Well, something one lap at least, so it's not too bad. I'm getting a lot of goddamn understeer. Well, the pistol is tricky. Uh, well, the, the, not the pistol, but the actual entrance to that. Go, go, go. Okay, from 20th, let's see if we can uh, get some places back up. Look after these tires now. We're going to finish the race on this compound. Go rich. For a few laps. Okay, let's see if we can keep our car safe here. 
Don't break our wing anywhere. Go way too slow to that corner, honestly. I should get the gist of that corner better. Did I catch anybody in here? No. people. The car ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. bit late of a break there. Ooh. That could have been real bad. Max is in the pits. Max in the pits. That dirty air just makes my car hell look terrible. Okay, battery's looking good. You can use overtake to get past. We're trailing our teammate by 40.0 seconds. Yeah, it's a tight battle between Russell and myself. Come on.
Now I'm on Rich, but my car is so underpowered right now. Pretty much pushing him there. George Russell, get out of here. Oh my god. I'm not gonna finish this race, I'm not gonna finish this race either, Russell. Oh Be my god. With the front wing, you've taken some minor damage. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Caution. The virtual safety car is out. Reduce Russell? speed and maintain a positive delta. Oh. What happened? Let me know you're okay. Oh. I was gonna go after Russell and that didn't work out well. This guy just pushed me off completely. We gotta do this realistically. We were out of the session. Lost points for Red Bull again. This is not a good season for us. Oh, skip all this. McLaren won, of course. Jeez. Should have said a McLaren. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic okay, Max got race some stuff. McLaren, that's, good. that's for sure. And no doubt they'll be celebrating tonight. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. Our championship leader is still sat at the top of the standings, but their rivals have made up some solid ground today. Ooh, yeah. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? It's got to be Lando Norris, hasn't it? Smooth, confident, and assured. I've got no doubt that he and his team are going to be over the moon with his performance today. I know that's at odds with the official decision, oh, but they, man. they deserve some recognition on a day where both of these drivers are at the top of their so game. Bad. Where's Russell? Let's move on to the constructors. The McLaren 13. continue to this increase guy. their gap at the top. Meanwhile, Alpha Tori's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. Lewis well, and Valtteri that was went certainly an down. incredible weekend of Jeez. racing. Be sure to join myself and Ant. For oh, we still gotta get up there. This because we're way, we're too far behind. Uh, so constructors, we probably can't. Maybe we can. I don't know. I'm not 100 percent sure yet. Driver standing, I need to really start getting more points because we're Charles is coming up behind us. So him as Lando. So hopefully you guys like this episode. Unfortunately, we're not that great at Singapore Grand Prix. I just this track is just so weird. I'm not sure if it's the equipment that I'm using to play with this, if it's the setup or what. But we'll see you guys next time. Hope if you guys liked it, comment down below, hit the like button, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.